Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Sergeant Stewart, bringing you another Black Ops 2 commentary here today. First thing I want to talk about is a user request from DeathReap0624, who asked us, Can you do the UAV, Orbital VSAT, and EMP challenge? Try to get a nuclear. Well, this background gameplay is off of a combat train. I'll get into that here in a second. Sorry, I did not use a background for that, but I wanted to post this video out. Um, just because I thought it was a pretty good video even though it was combat training. Uh, with that being said, let's get on to the challenge. So, the UAV orbital VSAT and EMP combo can be used in several different ways. Um, first things first, this is a support kill streak. Um, to be reminded from Modern Warfare 3, there was a lot of support kill streaks in that. However, there was not a lot um, or a class set for in Black Ops 2. So, the UAV, Orbital Visa EMP, why is it good, why is it bad? Let's talk about that. Okay, so the UAV, pretty self-explanatory. It gives you the little dots up on the radar. You can see them in this game as well. Um, as well as you'll see the Orbital Visa, but the EMP is not being used in this. So it gives you a rough area of where the people are at as long as they're not using Ghost. So it does help your teammates out quite a bit. Um, now, moving on to the Orbital VSAT. This is the UAV's big brother. The Orbital VSAT... Not only does it tell you where everybody's at, it also tells you where they're at if they are have Ghost on, as well as the direction that they're facing. So if you see the triangles pop up on the screen here right now, um, that will tell you, okay, the guy's coming down the alley here or coming down to look at me, and the tip of the triangle is where they're facing at. Now, EMP. EMP works great, as I talked about in the previous user-requested video of the... Um, I'm sorry if I'm wrong here, guys, but I'm going to try to remember this. It's EMP, Lodestar, and Dogs, I believe it was. Um, the difference of the two is, is that was a mixture of lethal score streaks compared to non-lethal, and this is all non-lethal. Now, I think the reason this challenge was picked is probably just to give the clan a challenge as far as trying to be a beast without score streaks. And for as far as Death Reap, I have to apologize for you, brother, but we were not able to pull off the nuclear... Um, the clan is good, but we're not all super beasts all the time, and we had quite a few other things we had to focus on, so not that your challenge wasn't important, it is very much important, but we just weren't able to do it in the time frame, and I didn't want to make you wait two more months or whatever for us to pull it off, so I wanted to get that out to you. So, those are the good parts about it. Now, let's talk about the bad part about these score streaks, okay? So, normally when you do a score streak loadout... And you're picking different roles, like I talked about before in previous videos, the roles of playing Domination or playing any other game mode. Okay? This score streak, although it helps your teammates, doesn't fit a role. And here's what I mean by that. You can get the UAV on anything you play. No big deal. You might even be able to get an Orbital. Okay? But the third score streak, if you're going to use non-lethal, non-lethal, you need to put in, in my opinion... A lethal score streak reason being for this is most of the time when you're playing for higher score streaks you're only jumping on objectives when they are convenient so to say okay so what does that mean that means basically I'm trying to get on this objective when I know I can capture it for my team but I know I won't die because I don't want to lose those score streaks now if you run in medium score streaks like the uh, score streak I used to use which was uh, lightning strike AGR stealth chopper then you know, that's okay, because you can get those pretty quickly with just grabbing tags and stuff like that. But the higher ones, you have to just be kind of careful, because a lot of times in Black Ops, as you probably already very well know, as example right here, there is people camping. And if you go for that tag every time, you know, half the time you're going to get picked off by some guy camping. It's not that he's better than you, it's simply the fact that that's his game style that he plays, whether you think it's cheap or not. So, I think... Any two out of the three would be good on this. In my personal opinion, because the way I play, I would get rid of the UAV, and I would use the Orbital VSAT EMP, and in between those two, if you look at Lukey and I's video of the Domination video, the 66 and 6 video, I believe it is on here, you'll see me use the score streak. I use Orbital VSAT, I use the Escort Drone, and I use EMP. Okay? So... The Escort Drone is going to help you with kills, help you get to your next score streaks, all that type of stuff. You know, and, and just be honest, you know, I, it makes you feel good when you're just killing a lot of people. 
Let's be honest about that. So, you at least got the escort drone in. The EMP is going to keep people from dropping those annoying hellstorms and lightning strikes on you, as well as the swarms, and it does not help with dogs, but, you know, it will keep you from activating the dogs, at least. It, it won't help you from killing the dogs, obviously. Um, so, that's something to think about. All right, so I thank you very much, DeathReap0624. I will put a, in the description, I will put your username. If you have a YouTube channel, um, let us know. I know you have one as far as for commenting, but if you post videos, let us know. And I will go ahead and post that as well once you give it to us. I'll make an update to the video. On to the main agenda for this. Luki and I were talking with a couple of the other clan mates, and if you've been watching our videos, you know that we used to be a PC gaming clan. Only recently coming to PS3. So what I'd like to ask of the subscribers, the people that are new to this channel and just watching this one video, would you like to see us do some PC gaming? Um, to give you a couple examples of what we have in mind right now, the PC games we're looking at right now would be Minecraft, and it is not vanilla Minecraft, for those of you who don't understand that, that would be just regular Minecraft, no mods. We are looking at what's called Feed the Beast. Okay, we have already set up a server and started playing on it to have a little bit of fun, so I'd like your opinion on... Does that sound interesting? It should be something we bring to the channel. Uh, we used to also be a first-person shooting clan, you know, for P all the PC games. So this, what does this mean? This means um, a lot of the free first-person shooters, what we used to play. So AVA, Blackshot, um, although it's not a first-person shooter, it's a third-person. We used to play World of Tanks. Um, Combat Arms, I mean, I'm sure there's a much out there I'm leaving out, but... We used to play a bunch of those, and so I wanted to know, you know, what is your opinion of playing that? Do you enjoy it? Um, and then the two other games out there we're thinking about playing is the Let's Starve game. If you don't know what that is, you can feel free to ask, or you can look it up on YouTube. We'd like to do a series on that, as well as the new SimCity that came out. Both you and Luki and I have that. Now, the way we're looking at doing these, we're looking at doing these a little bit different than what we do on our Call of Duty series. Call of Duty series, we go out, we find games that we think is YouTube worthy, and we post them up. These are gonna be a little bit different. We wanna to try to work it to where we can do live commentaries. So the videos, you know, be 10, 15 minutes long, but they'll be live. It'll be me and Loki playing, we'll be recording them. There will no be out, no outtakes or any of that type of stuff. So give me your opinion about that, um, and let me know, is this worthy, or is this, uh, I only like watching Call of Duty. Um, last but not least, Call of Duty Ghost is coming up, guys. So, I'm not going to talk about the stats. I'm not going to talk about all the crap we've talked about previously. Here's what I want to talk about. I want you guys to start... Let me rephrase. Here's what I want to ask you guys. I want you guys to start thinking about, as you gather your, your information on this, I want you to start thinking about what challenges you'd like to see from us. So we don't have to wait a month to try to think of challenges or come up with something that you know may not interest you. You know, as you're seeing it, maybe you see a certain gun that looks interesting, or maybe you see um, a certain game mode they're going to bring out, or whatever it is, and throw us those challenges, you know. Instead of you trying to go out and struggle as a new player on it, let us try to figure them out for you. Hey, I found this new score streak, or hey, I saw, you know, whatever it is. So, I want you guys to try it. Let me know your opinions, and we can do a how-to video, like, you know, as, as well as like a let's play, because we're going to be kind of figuring it out together so to say so i want to get you guys opinions on that let me know post down in the comments i'd appreciate if you guys would start being try to try to be a little bit more interactive with us um guys we're still waiting i don't know what i was doing here i spinning the uh spinning in the air guys we're still waiting on hearing back from the custom games for you guys uh, what it looks like we're gonna have to do i'm sorry i'm talking about them again but what it looks like we're gonna have to do we're just gonna set a date for you guys post it on one of our videos and if you join us, great, we'll make it a series, and if not, um, and that's not interesting to you guys, because I can't help but think maybe it's not, since you guys haven't responded, we're just going to post them, we're going to take it from where you guys are at, and get your, uh, get your input on it, you know, that was really fun, or you watch the first one and say, hey, I want to play the next one, or, you know, I don't like the way you guys do this, etc., etc., so, anyways, give me your thoughts on those, give me your thoughts on the Call of Duty, um, give me your thoughts on the PC games, all that type of stuff that comes up, guys. We really appreciate the comments. It's what makes us, uh, you know, want to be YouTubers. It has nothing to do with the, uh, you know, the money or the, uh, the fame, because, <laughs> let's be honest, we ain't got either one of them, so. Until the next video, I love you guys. I'm Sergeant Sturat, leader of the GSUF clan. Peace out, brother.